Welcome to our Spree 2017 Tips and Tricks video. Today I will be focusing on the enhancements included in solid turn contouring as a part of the Spree 2017. These new enhancements give the user better control when positioning the tool edge along walls at the start or end of cutting passes and inside of grooves. These new enhancements are most beneficial when machining with round or grooving inserts to contour a feature. The first enhancement we are going to discuss is the new positioning type. In previous versions of a spree, the contact point of the tool edge was determined at the start and end points of a feature, which could cause problems when machining with a round insert. With the new positioning options, the user now has custom control over the tool positioning at the start and end of a feature. For our positioning type example, we will apply a contouring operation to, to the front groove feature here. The position type is set on the Strategy tab in the Feature Extension section of the Solid Turn Contouring Operation. The default positioning type is Horizontal. Horizontal pos positioning will place the edge of the tool horizontal to the start or end of the feature. Once we apply the toolpath, you can see that the start point of the feature and the start point of the toolpath are, are at the same point. If we go into simulation, you can see how the edge of the insert is horizontal to the start point of the feature and has yet to cut any material. Then it will ease into the cut and perform our contour. Next, we are going to switch our positioning type to normal. The normal positioning type places the contact point of the tool at the feature start point or the feature end point. Once the toolpath is applied, you can see how the toolpath starts below the feature start point. Going in simulation, you can see how this positioning type begins the cut with the insert already engaged instead of allowing the insert to ease into the cut. When using the normal positioning type, it is best to use some type of lead in or start extension to allow the insert to lead out of the cut. Next we are going to switch our positioning type to blend. The blend positioning type will add a small blend to the start or end of a feature. Once the toolpath is applied, you can see that the blend is shown here at the start of the feature to blend into the rest of the cut. Going into simulation, you can see how the blend easily blends in a previously machined area into the current machined area for a smooth transition. With all of the positioning types, it is important to keep in mind that the start and end extension are applied before any of the positioning type movements. For example, if we were to apply a 1 8 inch start extension to our current operation and click OK, You'll notice how the feature is extended and then the blend is applied. Going into simulation, having this extension causes the blend to miss, miss the start of the toolpath, leaving an area here that is not blended correctly. Our next enhancements have to do with contouring a feature using a grooving insert. When contouring a feature with a grooving insert, it is best machined down one side, retract, and machine down the second side. Using the back groove feature here, we'll apply a solid turn contouring operation by setting our machining area to alternate with a transition angle of 90 degrees to separate the vertical wall. Built into toolpath, you will get a tool motion that comes down, retracts, and comes back through. In simulation, you'll see the tool comes in, machines down the angled wall, through the middle, but begins machining up the vertical wall. This causes the insert to become fully engaged, risking damaging the tool or the part. To avoid this, we'll use our next enhancement, the transition clearance. The transition clearance adds a safety distance to offset the transition point before the tool touches the wall. Adding a value of 0.1 to our transition clearance, the tool will stop the transition prior to machining the vertical wall, retract, and then machine down the vertical wall. In simulation, you can see how the tool will come down our angled wall, as it did before, through the middle, but stops short of our vertical wall to retract, come up, and machine down the second side, reducing the risk of damaging the part or tool. The next enhancement for grooving inserts is the control edge shift. Control edge shift can be used to change the position of the tool edge within the toolpath from one side of the tool to the other in the middle of the toolpath to allow the NC code to match the part drawing. In our contouring cycle, if we set the control edge shift to yes and apply the toolpath, 
you can see how the toolpath is now developed from each side of the grooving tool instead of remaining constant on one side. In simulation, even though the toolpath is adjusted to match the part drawing, the motion of the tool remains the same and will contour each side of the toolpath as it was designed originally. That's today's tip video. Thanks for stopping by. We hope you enjoyed it and don't forget to subscribe to our newsletter or share this video and stay tuned for other tips and tricks. Thank <laughs> you.